All right, so hopefully you've been following along this because we're gonna be changing from a prop to a state. That state's gonna use a callback and change something in our list. It's a lot of stuff that's going on here and I'm not sure how often you would do this, but it is really useful to see how these props and state work and how we can make some changes to them. Okay, cool. So now that we've got this understanding of const and component did mount and all that, uh, what I'm gonna do is make a new one in here saying component did mount. And this right here is gonna go ahead and set our state for our post list. And our constructor, we also wanna have this in here. So we'll do this.state equals to, and we'll just say post list. And we're gonna, oh, whoops, not like that, but post list. And we're gonna put this equal to an empty list here. So then down in our render function, we'll just do const post list equals to this.state. And now our post list is gonna be based off of that data. Um, so that means now it's all based off of the data that's associated in our state, which of course at this point, it's nothing, right? So it's completely empty. So I need to set this post list data in this component did mount, much like we did in our post detail where I set it based off of the prop, right? Cool. So down here in this component did mount, I'm gonna now say this.set state post list, and I'm gonna set it equal to that post data from that JSON. Okay, so this could be from like a backend service. You probably wouldn't do it here yet. You would probably do something like is loading true and then call some method in here that would actually grab that data. Again, not gonna cover that. Uh, but instead what we're gonna do is cover how to manipulate this post list from a child component through the callback, through property, through the state. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let's just double check to make sure all of this is working correctly. I'm gonna refresh in here, and what do you know? It is working, so I can toggle this content, everything's looking good. I click on this, and it actually sends me back a new item here. So this is an actual post item that it's sending me. Okay, so something else that I want to add to my actual data is I wanna make sure that my ID is coming in here, right? So my ID actually does come in. So that also means that I wanna pass that back because what we're gonna do with the changing of this data is rather, rather important. So this callback, we have this new post item in here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the ID itself. Um, actually, we're gonna change this all together. So let's go ahead and change it equal to this.props.post. And we'll just go ahead and say new post item and title is equal to, there we go. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say let. So this will give me all of the related things are there. Um, and I'm using let because I'm changing it a little bit and then I'm bringing it back into my state. So let's save that and render it now. I click on that. Now I actually get the ID here. Um, so this, this allows me to change the actual list a little bit better. Okay, so going back into that list, I have this handle callback. All I'm doing is rendering it out. So what I wanna do is I wanna manipulate my list itself, right? So this is gonna change what's in here. And so we can console log it, we can do all sorts of things for that. It might not seem like anything's happening, but it definitely will be. Um, especially if we were using a backend, we would send this to the backend and update things like that. Okay, cool. So in this handle detail callback, what I need to do is grab the initial post list or the list that's inside of it. So we'll say current post list equals to this.state.postList. Okay, so it's grabbing the state of the post list item. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna append it to this. This is just a very simple way to change this list by just keep on adding new stuff because I clicked on something. So what I'm gonna do then is just say current list post item dot push. So dot push is sort of like append um, or add to the end of that list. And then we'll just do this dot set state and post list equals to current 
host list. Okay, get rid of that console log. So what should happen is now, when I click on any of these titles, that same thing should be appended to the end of these items. So I should have a lot of them by clicking it and it didn't work. Okay, can't read property of undefined. Okay, so this is saying that it's undefined, which is correct. Post item is not the right one. It should be post list. My mistake, post item is literally just what's being passed to it. So try that again and I click on it. And what do you know? I'm starting to now get a ton of new items here. And if I toggle display, it only toggles on that one single thing. Okay, so what this is showing me then is a simple way, or maybe not so simple, maybe it's a little complex to get your mind around this, which I totally understand if it would be, but let's, let's just break it down what happened. Okay, so I first of all grab the data from some sort of location. In this case, I grabbed it from a JSON file. That data is then rendered out. And inside of that rendered out, we render out other subcomponents or child components. Those child components have their own state. That state then changes, and then it sends a callback onto our parent component that then handles what changed, and it changes its own state based off of what changed in its child state. You want to play around with this more. You definitely do. Uh, but, but it allows me to say, okay, look, I clicked on the title or I did some sort of action and then I sent a callback as a result of that action back to my parent and then my parent co uh, con component actually handles that action and then, you know, does something with it. In my case, I just changed the list a little bit. So um, what if I just did pop? Boom, gone, boom, gone. It actually removed it from that list, right? Um, so push, pop, you can add things, you can remove things. Um, simple way of doing that, right? So let's, let's, do, let's do another example much like this, uh, but I'm gonna just do it where it's, it's maybe a little bit more practical. Um, so let's go ahead and add another button here and we'll go ahead and call it remove content remove content. Okay. And we'll come back up here and make another one and say, handle remove content button. It's a mouthful, but it makes it nice and easy for me to understand what it is. So this dot handle remove content button, this dot handle remove content button dot bind this. Okay. And all I want to do here is say, if this dot props dot can handle remove, or rather, instead of can handle, we'll say did handle remove. Then I'll just go ahead and say this.props handle remove of the actual item itself, which would be this.state.postItem. I mean, honestly, you could actually use this.props.postItem as well, or .post rather. So either way, either one of those should work, okay? So I now have a button that will handle this sort of thing and I wanna make sure that I call it on click. So that will handle my click event for removing this content, okay? So then back in my list, I need to make a prop for did handle remove back to in here. So we'll say did handle remove equals to this dot handle post remove. Okay, so I need to make this method. And here we go. And again, post item. Same thing that we did here. And I also wanna say this.handle, this.handle, and blah, blah, blah. We've done this a lot. Okay, so again, we'll just pop it out. So this should pop out whatever that item is by removing it, right? So it should absolutely remove it. Um, one other thing that we might consider here is something like um, ref, uh, update backend. And I'll just say console log, you know, uh, updating, something like that. And then we can then say this update backend. 
Right, so update back in would probably actually handle the list itself. So let's just do it like that. So, you know, if it's successful on the back end, then we would actually update the list or we would do it up front. Um, but let's just, let's just bring in that list as an argument. So in other words, I'm passing, I'm, I'm pretending like I'm passing the list to the back end and I still want to keep whatever that currently changed list is active until it's done. And then, you know, then I would update the state based off of that. Um, okay, cool. So this is sort of handling or looking like what we would do realistically if we wanted to remove something. So I hit remove content and it actually removes the wrong one, right? So it removes the bottom one. It just pops off whatever the bottom item is. So this part we would, we would need to update or make it a little bit better as far as handling that aspect of things. But what I just showed you is quite literally what you might end up doing on a component that you need to make some changes for. And I showed you two methods or two ways of doing it um, specifically so you can have some more experience because it's a little complicated. But the part of this that you should now have a really good understanding of are props and state. State helps manipulate inside of the component, whatever that component is. Props don't really change inside of the component itself, but it might change in the parent component that actually sets whatever that prop is. So that last sort of item here is like, hey, is there actually a way to set this particular post item? And yeah, there, there definitely is. We just didn't really go through it. Um, so that's sort of a challenge. Or if you want, if you have some questions on this some more, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to get everything. We'll see you next time.